What's going on, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and Paradise Garage. Uh, we're going to be doing auto body Q&A for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Type in the chat down below. Give me some quick feedback. And also, if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member, uh, type in the chat quickly. Let me know where you are tuning in from. And uh, if you guys can hear and see the audio clearly, give me some quick feedback. Type it in the chat. What is going on? Yo, what's up? What's up? Andy's in the house. What's up? What's up, everyone? Hope all is well. Mahalo, my brother. Audio and video are good. Happy to participate today. Apologize. It's been extremely busy. It's a good thing. It's a great thing that you're busy. Um, let me know what type of projects you're working on. Um, you must be really busy. That's great. <laughs> Chicago in the house, checking in. What's going on, guys? For all you newbies just tuning in, um, Arnold, thanks for the uh, for the update on the audio and video for letting me know. Mahalo. Um, yeah, guys, we're going to be on for, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever. Um, any auto body questions you guys got, let me know. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to give you guys um, some updates on the Tesla project. We have the thing pretty much in pieces at the moment. Uh, maybe you've seen some of it on the social stuff. I haven't been posting too much. But you're working on a couple of Hayabusa's. Is that what you're working on? Yeah, those are uh, those are some cool bikes there. I've never ridden one, but um, they're cool bikes for sure. Okay. So, guys, just type in the chat. This is auto body Q&A for the next 15 to 30 minutes, give or take. Um, and type in the chat any type of auto body and paint questions you've got. Um, Arnold is in the house here. I'm sure. I mean, he does always. He always helps out if you guys got questions, if I can't cover it, if I'm, like, talking about the Tesla or whatever. Um, but um, we're going to be um, – covering a quick update. I'm going to give you like five minute update on the Tesla project. Uh, for all you newbies just tuning in for the first time, you could go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right here to get some free auto body training. You can also go to radspaintformula.com right over here. And then if you guys are looking for great spray guns, check out zula.com. Um, to check out the Atom X spray guns that I use and that I'm going to be using painting the Tesla project as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the Tesla and um, give you some quick updates. Uh, let's see. Excited on the Tesla project. VIP Ted here. I have a question about masking for spraying sealer and then spraying base coat. How do I not have that sealer line? Uh, well, if you're if you're going to be spraying sealer, you're not going to be mask. You know, if you're spraying sealer on a project, you're really not going to have any tape lines. If you do, you're going to have to sand it flat, right? You're going to have to blend that feather that tape line out. So I'm not sure exactly what part of the the car you're working on where you're going to be having some spray lines or whatever. I'm not sure exactly. If you could send me some pictures or give me a little bit more, I can help you out. Um, Hello from Little D from Little Rock, Arkansas. What's up, Tony? What's up, Jeff? I'm actually doing some spray out cards right now outside. Unfortunately, all good. Trick is a canopy tent with a mosquito net and wet floor. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So quick update, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Tesla project. It doesn't look like much, but we took off all the trim. Okay, we got our mirrors off as well. And unfortunately, I may have to tape this whole mirror up so I can paint that white. I'm trying to take off this cap, but um, it's a little tricky and I don't want to go breaking it and busting it up. So I might have to tape all the black up here and then just kind of paint. It's going to be a little tricky. It could be done, but to paint in here as well with this, you know, this black part in the way. But, you know, it could be done. It could be done. So let's take a look at the Tesla project here. Uh, we basically got all the trim off, okay? Weather stripping, door panels, okay? 
pretty much getting ready to wet sand. We got all the weather stripping out. Interior plastic is obliterated. Let me turn the light on here. You guys seeing this? Is this good? I'm not jamming up, am I? Uh, we have our trunk lip spoiler epoxied into the car. Okay, molded. We got all this on step-by-step -step video. I'll show you exactly how to do this. But as you can see, we got that epoxy panel bonding hard as rock. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere. All right. Um, all we have to do now is basically smooth sand everything in, prime it, get it ready for paint. Um, the top of this is a little bit, you know, it's like a soft, it's not really a soft rubber, but it's a hard rubber, but it's flexible. Okay. Um, you can see how it looks on the backside, all molded in pretty much. And, and guys, we're going to have, we have better video footage HD. I'm just going off my laptop cam right now, but that's what it's looking like. Got our tail lights out. We got our emblems off. All right. If we open the thing up here, pretty much gutted inside, you know, cause we have to pull the tail lights. Everything's off. Okay. We're doing door jams first. All right. Um, and let's take a look at the front. Front is completely apart. All right. We got our bumper cover right here. All right. So, I mean, the next steps is basically wet sanding. We're going to be wet sanding all the door jams. Okay. The wet sanding it all down with 400 grit and masking everything up and spraying all the door jams. Okay. We have a little bit of body work that we're going to be doing. Not much, but um, that's pretty much the process. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do everything step by step. We're going to shoot the door jams. I'm planning for this weekend just to get it done. And um, no, I can't shut the trunk like that. I got to click the button inside the, in, in the car, but I'm not worried about it right now. Um, Maya, check the mail. Oh, you got it. Uh, okay. So that's pretty much the update on the Tesla. You know, I got some body work. I installed the front lip. I don't know if you guys can see this here, but we installed the front lip that's going to be going on the bottom. Okay. Front lip diffuser right there. Um, and it's just, it's in pieces. We basically just have to sand the whole thing down, sand the door jams and, um, and blast it, you know? This is going to be very complicated to take off, so I'm going to have to tape this up because it's it's like literally part of the charging system inside, and I'm not going to go dealing with that. It's like a huge process to take this piece off. So I'm going to have to just mask all this up, try to get the base in here, you know, and clear coat it. It's going to be a little challenging, but I'll just get under here, and then I'll close it, and then I'll just shoot the outside with this taped up. You know what I'm saying? Um. Other than that, you know, I think the handles we're going to leave the same color as the car, as the black here. I don't think I'm going to paint them the same color. And um, I got the colors, guys. Um, as far as the colors, I think I'm going to keep it a secret. Um, I know in the beginning we were we were kind of thinking about um, like a, you know, like a purple blue feathered candy. But um, now we're going to be doing a different, totally different color. I ordered the paint, should be picking up the paint on Thursday. And, um, and yeah. You say what color combo? VIP Ohio. What's going on, bro? All right. So any questions? What's up? What's going on with you? No, nothing. Just got the mail. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Text me later. I want to know. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a nice color. I, here's the thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a fade on it. I was thinking of doing the fade, but it's going to be a two-tone black and another color um, with, with maybe some metal flaking. It's going to be a really nice color, guys. It's going to be tropical. I, I may. It's going to be tropical. Let's put it that way. And it's going to stand out. It's going to stand out. It's going to be tropical. It matches Hawaii. Yeah. It, it matches Hawaii. It matches. It'll match Florida. We will be doing the rims. Yeah, Florida, tropical. Oh, you know? yeah. We will be doing the rims gloss black. All the trim is going to be gloss black. Okay, so all this trim going around it, we're going to 2K prime it. We're going to we're gonna prep it, 2K prime it. And um, let's see, where are all my pieces at? Here are my pieces over here. 
There they are. My two running boards here, okay? We got those little pieces over here. All those plastics are gonna be painted gloss black. Um, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good, guys. Yeah, Maya's getting huge. Anyway, uh, let's see. Sprayed finish one for the first time on a collision job, laid down like glass. It was a high solid for sure. Yeah, yeah, and this is, this is the clear I'm gonna be using for the Tesla. It's good clear coat. I'm using this on the Tesla. And if you lay it on nice enough, you really don't even have to buff it. Um, Paradise Garage t-shirt color. Well, I will say the color is in our Paradise Garage logo. The color is in here somewhere. It's a color from in here. <laughs> but uh, we're going to keep it a secret until we spray the door jams. Because once we do the door jams, it'll be known, right? So you guys will probably find out um, the the color that it's this car is going to be in the next um, 10 days, give or take, because the car needs to be done before July 20th. It's a complete thing. Got to be done. I got to have it done by July 20th. I have to start really kicking ass on it probably from next week, you know, the first week of July. Um, I really got to start kicking ass on this thing and just banging this thing out. Like, you know, putting I haven't worked on it in days. Last week was I stopped last week, um, basically, you know, taking, taking the panels off and stuff. But, um, other than that, um, yeah, pretty quiet night tonight. Any auto body questions and answers guys, any, any questions, let me know if not, whatever we can call it short. And, um, let's see, you really need to try the finish. 740 clear a little bit more than the but it's gloss is way better yeah i mean you know i have the clear coat and i'm not concerned about the gloss because i know when i lay this stuff on it's freaking glossy as hell you know and if i need to get a better gloss i could always color sand and buff which turns it out to you know showroom shine but this is the 740 and it, i mean it's excellent this clear coat lays on like amazing you know, I'm happy with it. And I have an extra gallon, so I might as well use it. But, um, well, Rubbed through on bottom edge of door, masked off, sand with 600 and spray two coats. Oh, you're talking about you, you're buffing? Yeah, I mean, as long as you didn't get through to the base. So if you're down to the base coat, um, you might want to shoot some base over there and then spray two coats of clear on it, you know? If you feel like you can save the base, then you can just clear clear coat it. But if you're if you're gonna be doing a um like a whole panel, then I would go 800 grit. 600 is a little too coarse for a flow coat. I would 800 grit it, um, and then put two coats of clear coat on that. Tony, that green denim Harley I painted came out good first time I sprayed a matte color. Oh, cool, man. Is it on Facebook? I need to go check your uh, your Facebook out or IG. Where are you at? Don't mind me, guys. I've just been so busy lately. I have a red. Are you taking a dog? So what are you doing now? Who's out there? Okay. Bye. You look hot. Why don't you put some shorts on? Okay. I have a red to gold FX. It's liquid, not powder. How do I, how do I need to use it? I don't have a intercontinental clear, just clear coat right now. Any help appreciated. Um, I mean, you just mix it in your clear coat. 
or you can use a carrier. You can use a base coat carrier or you can mix it in clear coat and then spray it over whatever color base you got. Um, when it comes to solid color like white, black, and red, does a high cost base paint make a big difference in the outcome? Well, oh man, it's, it's such a hard question because, you know, I've sprayed cheap base coats and expensive base coats, and as long as you use a good clear coat, you cannot tell the difference. You really can't tell the difference. There's probably, you know, differences in the chemical makeup of it. They probably use a better, uh, you know, reducer or solvents in there. But like when you look at it side by side, there's no difference, you know, with a cheap base coat or an expensive one. I usually just get the medium grade. So I'm getting Shopline Plus base coat for um, the Tesla project. I'm getting three quarts of base coat which is going to give me about a gallon and a half of sprayable material, right? Um, and that's going to be enough because there's no roof on this thing. You know, it's all glass. So it's mostly the sides of the car. The trunk is very minimal. The hatch, you know, there's not much paint that goes on that back hatch. And then the hood and the front clip. So three quarts for me is going to be enough. It's going to give me a gallon and a half of sprayable with the door jams. Plenty, you know, I should have plenty left over, but... I'm going to be doing the door jams first and based on how much I use on the door jams, I'll be able to see, oh, you know, if I have to order more base coat, I can be like, all right, I'll order another pint, which will give me a more a quart of sprayable or maybe I'll need a, a quart. I just order another quart, you know, but um, yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Sounds good, dude. Sounds good. Send me some pictures tomorrow. Try that CSI. Won't burn through the paint. Love that stuff. One compound, two pads. I got to, I got to check that CSI. Maybe what I'll do is if I need it, if I need to do some color sanding and buffing on this Tesla, or if I want to do the high points, maybe, you know, after the paint job is done, if I want to get like up in here, you know, and the hood and the top of the fenders, if I want to make them really look like glass, then maybe I'll, um, you know, buff it out and do that. Um, how much should I add to the clear of the red to gold first time using? Um, it depends on how much clear coat, like, are you going to be mixing, are you going to be mixing, um, a quart, you know, usually a couple ounces is enough if it's, um, if you're using a liquid pearl. You know, one ounce, one ounce per quart is a lot. You know, you can go two ounces per quart if you want to go a little bit more heavy. Uh, what are my top three clear coats? Well, if you want to go high end, I like anything House of Color. They got some really good clear coats. Um, Deltron PPG is a very good clear coat. And um, also the stuff that I got here, the FC uh, by finish by Acme. This is really good clear coat. Um, uh, you know, cheap clear, you know, not, it's not super cheap, but it's affordable and it's good clear. So. Water soluble, so it's easy cleanup. That's cool. High-end base coat. Jeff says high-end base coat's easier for blending. Just doing spray out card right now, red to gold. Yahoo, I did not miss it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to post a couple links here. Um, here's the link to Zula.com if you guys are looking for great spray guns. Sorry about my shepherd in the background making all that noise. Um, if you guys want some free auto body training, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Click the links down below here. Um, and then we'll take a couple more auto body and paint questions, guys. Any auto body and paint questions? Radspaintformula.com. Get some free training on the Rads Paint Formula right over here. It's a five-day video training with a bonus course at the end. I think you're really going to like it. Um, so all the links are down below. I used Dynacoat Clear, and it was pretty good. Clear puck when dried up, no yellowing and hundred bucks for a gallon kit. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
pretty much the same price as this stuff. I think this is like around 90 to 110, depending on where you get it for a gallon kit. Uh, and I will be, because it's summer guys and it's starting to warm up a little, I will be using slow base coat reducer for this project because once I close this up, it's gonna be a little hot in here. And um, I want that base coat to flow out nicely. So we're gonna be using a slow, I usually normally use medium, but it's starting to get a little bit hot. So I'm gonna be using a slow um, base coat reducer for this paint job here. Um, and also I'm gonna be using slow activator and slow reducer for the clear coat on this paint job as well, okay? You always wanna use slow on a uh, complete paint job to let your clear coat flow out and, um, and cure without orange peel. You know, sometimes you're gonna get orange peel, you know, could be your spray gun settings, you're not spraying at, at a high enough atomization or high enough PSI. Your clear coat could be too thick, you know, which is going to give you that orange peely look. But we cover all of that in the RADS paint formula on videos, guys. So if you're curious on how to learn how to lay on amazing showroom finishes with your spray guns and how to set up your spray guns and everything, seriously, check out radspaintformula.com. Seriously, check it out. Um, I'll just post the link one more time over here. And it's a free training that I created. So uh, you guys are going to love it. Um, can't decide what colors to paint my motorcycle tank going to be on display in store. I want to do something nice and special. Yeah. just pick out a nice color, man. Put some pearl in it, put some flake in it, make it pop, do a two tone, put a flame on it or something, you know? Yeah. I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon as well. You know, a few grams per quart per quart. Uh, is flow coating important? Flow coat is basically, you know, if you just want to put, a, you know, much more clear coat on a paint job. So you could do a flow coat after your clear coat's completely dried, you know, a week after your paint job, two weeks, three weeks, a month after your paint job. You could basically just cut it down with 800 grit and put two coats of heavy clear on it. And this is more, I feel, for candy paint jobs or flake or pearl paint jobs, you know, something that you want to give it more depth. If you flow coat it, you're going to make it look a lot deeper. That paint job is going to look a lot deeper. Um, I'm not going to be worried about that on, on this Tesla because when I lay cl uh, clear coat, I lay clear coat on really thick. I put two thick coats on it and um, it's, it comes out really nice. So you guys are going to see me paint this thing in my garage here very soon in the next few weeks. It's going to be completely redone, black and another color. Fading, I don't think I want to do. Um, I, I don't know yet. I just don't want it to look corny with the fade. That's that's the only thing I'm worried about. Because I know if I don't do a fade, if I just do a straight baller color, it's going to look really tight, especially with the black, gloss black trim and some of the, uh, the extra body parts that we put on it. It's going to look really, really nice. Um, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy uh, this series coming up. You guys are going to like it. You know, we're painting a, basically a brand new Tesla in a two car garage uh, with this little <laughs> setup here. You know, uh, it's not it's not the location, guys. You guys don't need a twenty, thirty thousand dollars spray booth. You guys don't have to get so crazy about that, you know, to to get amazing showroom finishes on, on a car and a paint job. And that's what we're going to show you exactly how to do documenting the whole process is going to be uploaded to vip to learn auto body vip and um and yeah hope you guys get amazing results by following <clears throat> yeah two two wet coats of clear is all you need you know is really all you need all right guys you liking this so far I want to say thank you for tuning in. Check the links down below. Click over here. We'll take one more last minute questions. If any, if not, no big deal. Um, Andy, let me know. Hopefully all is well on your end. And um, keep me posted. I'm always around. Guys, don't forget to fr get the free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com. And also... Um, learnautobodyandpaint.com and also radspaintformula.com. I think that's the better video training course if you want it for free. 
Brad's pain formula. If you go to learn auto body, you're going to get the 85 page um, auto body guide booklet. But even if you sign up to Rad's Pain Formula for that free video training, I'm also going to mail you that 85-page guide as well by email. So you can download it, check that out. Um, it's been instrumental in helping so many people learn the basics of auto body and, and you know getting things done. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Arnie, thanks for tuning in. Long time no see. Great to see you here. Um, smash the like button, everybody. Other than that, Things are doing, you know, things are great here in Hawaii. Beautiful day. Let's check it out. Beautiful day in paradise. Look at it. Amazing. Blue skies. You know, I've got, got my body boards in the car. This is my little beach, my beach runner. Ended up being a good little car. Um, you guys got it. Carpet was a huge game changer. You mean putting carpet in your garage, Jeffrey? Carpet does keep the dust down. Just make sure you vacuum it. Um, it's been two years for me as VIP, and I learned so much. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate all of your wonderful feedback. S um, send me some images and, like, some of the projects you're doing, bro. Like, keep me posted, man. I'm glad you're doing well. Um and that's pretty much it. You know, we're in a crypto bear market still, but I'm still accumulating and trading uh, coins every now and then, you know, pretty much every day. And um, crypto is an amazing place to be as well. You guys should definitely get positioned uh, for the next 2024 and a half to 2025 and a half bull market. A lot of money to be made, guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Oh, what would you do for a clear that is peeling on a coach RV? Well, I would say number one, go get my free auto body guide at LABAP at learnautobodyandpaint.com and go get um, the RADS paint formula training and just start there because it's it's very hard for me to tell you what to do by looking at your car. I mean, um, without looking at it, but we cover these questions in the auto body guide and more. Okay. You basically got to sand it off and repaint it. Okay. Because there's no sense of, there's no sense of, clearing over you you cannot look if you have clear coat peeling on a car you're not going to be able to just sand some of the clear coat off and put new clear coat your base coat's going to get screwed okay so if you got peeling on your car it has to be repainted period you're going to either you're going to be doing a single stage paint job you're going to be uh or doing a base coat clear coat paint job all right so we'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys next week, same time. In the meantime, I'm going to be prepping this thing, getting it ready, hopefully spraying the door jams this weekend. That's my, my plan. It's Tuesday. I would say by Saturday, Sunday, I should be painting the uh, door jams of this project here. And I'll keep you guys posted. Peace out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.